Okay, so this is fun, you guys. Welcome to our call today. Hey, Shannon. See you. Um, so this is going to be fun. This is something new that we're going to do together. And um, what I'll do is mute. Let's see. If you can mute yourself out, that would help me. Then I wouldn't have to. And then, um, all right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to utilize this platform because we're all leaders, we're all excited, we're all growing, and we all have huge goals. Um, I first wanted to, to talk, we're going to go through and do some boot things together and share some, some tips so you're all going to be um, sharing today. But I also wanted to let you know that I created a survey for Green Carpet um, so that we can find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link on the Black Diamond page today. And it's going to ask a series of questions. It's going to ask, like, when are you arriving? Um, what day are you attending Green Carpet? Um, what's your name? And that kind of thing. So instead of sending out a mass email to the entire organization, which would be such a challenge, and we don't need to do that, I'm going to ask that all of you post the link to this survey on your team pages and ask those that are coming to Green Carpet, even if they're not attending Green Carpet and they're coming um, just you know, and doing pay-per-view, because I know a lot of people are doing that, if you would post this link and uh, ask those that are even coming for the week, and we'll send you like um, some verbiage specifically for that too, just so you can copy and literally paste it onto your team pages. Um, I need your help. We have the survey ready for you. Um, that you would post that, share it on your team pages, and get that information back to me before Friday. Can you do that? Feel good about that? Is that enough time? So we give it to you today after this call. Get it on your team pages or send it out to your team. Plan something for everybody during the tournament. Um, if you have something planned already for your team alone, just your team, I need to know. That way I'm not overlapping and planning something on top of what you're already doing. Because we want to try to get everybody together. I need to know how many people are coming. And then I ask that those that, if you could mute yourself out, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, since all of you are here, and this is something new that we're all doing together, pulling these leadership, this leadership together as a, as a group, is if you can go through, and I'm going to start at the top, and I'm going to go all the way around, but I want you all to share something, because all of us can utilize each other's leadership, and I want you to all go through and share a boom moment. I want you to share something that's powerful, something that's happening in your business, something that you've done recently that's really working for you because we can all learn from each other. Um, Michelle Smith, you're, again, <laughs> the top of my, of my Zoom as you were yesterday, too. I had the top enrollers for March on a Zoom yesterday, and we had an amazing video that we made. And I recorded it. We're putting it on YouTube. Unfortunately, we had to change my YouTube account altogether. Long story short, but that'll be up today with a brand new link. Um, but we did a top enroller Zoom yesterday, which was awesome. Allison, you were on there. Who else on here? Michelle Smith, Liz. Hey, Liz, you were on. Um, and I'm trying to get the rest of the people on next week to do another video, but we gave recruiting tips, which was incredible for enrolling distributors. So um, Michelle, thanks for being on that. You rocked that out. Um, and congratulations again on being a top enroller for March. But Michelle, why don't you share a boom moment with everybody today on what, um, what you're doing in your business, what's working for you? Uh, one thing that I love to do when I am doing a in-person party is I pass out my Blitz card to everyone that's in attendance at the party. And I ask them to take a picture of the back of the card, the side of the card that shows my label. And I will tell them we're going to do a contest. Post this on all of your social media platforms and say, I'm trying that crazy rap thing. And um, I tell them at the end of our party, whoever gets the most comments and likes is going to get a free three-day detox. 
So I'll end up giving out three greens on the go to whoever wins. But the coolest thing about this is they end up promoting me all across all of their social media platforms and my information is right there on the bottom with my label. So everyone who sees that post that they do, whether it's on Pinterest or Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, now has my information. So I have everyone at the party basically promoting me. And then I use this at the end as a really great tool because of course they get excited like, oh, I got seven comments, I got three likes, so oh, you're winning. And um, whoever gets the most obviously is excited because they win, but everyone starts to see the excitement behind this product that we have. And so I'll say to them, you know, all these people that are liking your post could be the customers that you, you know, have joined your business. They could be the distributors who start helping you grow your own empire. So if you think maybe this might be a fun business for you to do, then let's talk about that at the end of the party as well. So that's been kind of fun for us. You know, I think um, Cammie's always talked about that too, how she's had so much success with having people post on their social media accounts during parties to do a drawing for whoever gets the most likes or comments. Great tip. I love that. Awesome, Michelle. Thank you so much. All right, we'll come back around again if we have time at the end. Liz Brown, you're up next, sister. Hey, Liz. Hey, good morning. Oh, am I muted? You're unmuted now. I'm good. Okay, hi. Um, I think for me, it was just my boom for 2016 was just changing my mindset altogether and really believing and in pouring into my team and Every time they enroll somebody, I'm offering my assistance and I'm like, my calendar is open. I will come to your launch party and letting everybody know that even if you're not my personally enrolled, I want to be there for you because I think there's power in numbers and just letting them know that I am available because that's different as I, I my availability is hard because I do, you know, three kids and baseball and lacrosse, but I just, and I'm always open. I'm always putting this, like, this is my availability. And now I've started, like, I'm going to be at Starbucks for two or three hours. Like, this is where I am. I can't schedule necessary one-on-ones, but I'm just giving out my availability more to the team as they grow and being there for them. And, um, I, I don't know. I just, it's so different. It's just, it's hard to explain this year at, all together. But I think it's just that mindset of being there for the team members from the very beginning and giving them my email, giving them my cell phone, giving me access to me. Um, cause I know as a distributor, I remember looking at those diamonds and double diamonds. And now that I've got that title, it still gives me chills because I know how important it is for others to um, have access to me. So Liz, what do you feel like when you are keeping yourself available and you're keeping your calendar open, when you, when you are allotting that time for your team, what do you feel like you are giving to them or providing for them that, that they need the most? Like, what do you feel like is the thing that you are providing for them that is allowing your business? Cause your business is growing right now. I and mean, you were a top enroller last month for the entire, yeah. so you are on fire. So what do you, how do you, do you feel like that is contributing to that or what, give, give us a little bit more about what you're actually doing during that time frame. I think too, cause when I'm at, what the feedback that I've been getting is people are loving my excitement. They're loving that I love this company and then they are feeding off of that and then they're able to pass that on to their team as well or to new customers and new distributors. And that's sort of that feedback I keep getting is, I love your fire. I love your excitement. So they need to see that and they need to be in the presence of it because I think on Facebook or, you know, on social media, you're not getting that unless you're belly to belly people. So as much as I can, I want to be in front of my team as well as their parties and their guests, especially when they're new and they're not really confident enough. I'm bringing that confidence in for both of us. And I think that's what's helping. That makes sense. Do you mind if I make your suggestion while we're all here? Yes, please. Okay, so what, what I would do because, um, or what I can suggest for you is because we have a weekly wrap party here. Yes. So at our weekly wrap parties, it's tonight, it's every Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m. I mean, even when I just feel like I am so tired and just don't have the energy to go, I go. And so for me, that's productivity. It's an income producing activity because we, we highly encourage those guests. And there's only been two parties that have had no guests. We've been doing these for months, so I've been really excited about that. Tonight, we have confirmed guests. And what we do for our, um, for our teams that are um, involved that are not in this area, we either will Zoom in or FaceTime them in, depending on the number of people that we have. So 
what I could encourage you to do because you are scheduling that time out so you don't get into a micromanagement mode is that you turn that time that you're you're putting your you're scheduling out into a wrap party that make, yeah do a week so i need to find a location <laughs> do it at your home if you can we do it, it won't. at our gym we do it at our gym because of my my trainer is a distributor and it's, so she opens up the gym and we do it there um so maybe someone's home that's in your team that's in your area would open their home up um, to that. But for, so you don't get called up because in order to take it beyond that level and for it to be duplicatable for you and for you to be able to continue to bring in new business because you wanna bring in new business and keep bringing in new business because you wanna grow past where you've gotten to now is I would turn it into a weekly wrap party. Do something like that and then bring in as your team because you want to you want to keep circling this out. You want this to keep growing. Put people on a Zoom with you. Say if you want to yeah. come to our party, invite guests over, have guests over at the same time, and we'll Zoom you in and you all can be a part of our party. Great training for all your new people too. Say plug in and watch me party tonight. And That's great. You're being available, but you're doing income producing activity that's, ex that's growing your business beyond where it is now. It's going gonna, it's gonna to ultimately do big things for you still. Something to think about. Yeah, thank you. Awesome, awesome. I love it. All right, we'll come back through. Thanks, Liz. Hey, Donna, you're next. Hey, is it me? Okay, is it me? Donna, Donna I am. I am. I'm so excited that I was able to join today. I'm actually sitting in the car. I've got my grandbabies in the background and my kiddos, but we are, what is working for us? I'm going to tell you what happened. We're a fairly young team. We have lots of brand new distributors um, in our organization. So we are excited because the beginning of March really kind of set our team in momentum, like on fire. And it started all with March Madness and we took the approach it was kind of trickled down from our leadership about actually creating appointments and making contact not necessarily regarding business but actually making personal contacts and appointments whether they're at a coffee shop reaching out to people kind of removing that stress factor of, oh my gosh, I got to sit in front of people and talk about the business or ask somebody to have coffee with me regarding the business or, you know, the products or what I'm doing, but actually go to them and actually say, hey, it's been a while, you know, just thinking about you. How's everything going? I'd love to catch up and have a cup of coffee or meet up for a drink or get an appetizer or just something like even a phone conversation. You know, haven't seen you in a while. How's everything going? But really removing that whole piece that was like bringing anxiety to a lot of my new team and actually just saying, get in front of people, you know, and then there's that law of like reciprocation where, you know, you'll say, how's everything you invest in them. And then all of a sudden they're saying, so what's up with you? And so that has really kind of changed a whole mindset for a lot of my existing team. You there? She's frozen. Am I still here? You're there now. It's okay. It was me. My phone. I don't know how to. I'm on my phone and it started ringing. It's like, what are we? Your existing team and then on. Yeah, my existing team. And then um, also the new people, it kind of alleviated and put them in front of some of the people that, you know, they were more comfortable. We helped them also build a 60 second story you know, kind of covering those four factors. And I don't know, you know, there's so much going on in it works across the board and even in your team, Kay, but um, we saw some huge momentum in March. We had promotions that we never saw before. <laughs> so that was super exciting. And then I watched, because of that, I watched the team really come together for each other. So we do some of the things that you also have been just talking about, like weekly wrap party. I host, we Zoom in my team from all over the country if they don't have a lot of people. Um, but really, those are the kind of some of the things that are working for us right now. We do a weekly um, online party. We seem to get a lot of great feedback and a lot of guests on a weekly online wrap party and a Zoom wrap party so those are kind of some of the things that are happening for us 
it's exciting. Wonderful. So, um, Donna, quickly on your weekly online party, because I have, I have a question about that. Do you, um, how long is that party? About 30 minutes. Perfect. Yeah, we kind of have it down to a science right now. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, you know what? I was, uh, we were having this conversation this morning in my meeting that people's attention span is 30 to 40 minutes even at a one team, one mission. And for us to really keep that opportunity section of the uh, party pad to that time frame too, the, the product and the opportunity, even at a wrap party. That's why, you know, it's perfect. You've got wrap on. Um, but 30 minute online parties, I love it. Yeah, it's been working really well. And we did change it up a little bit when the system was introduced. So we kind of just focus on the system. And then of course the opportunity. One of the keys, um, we did a training amongst our leadership too just a couple days ago. And one of the things, well, it was actually yesterday. One of the things we really wanted to, to bring out and we shared it last night on our team training Zoom was, you know, to not to forget to use the party pad wherever you are. Um, you know, online parties are great. You know, you kind of do go through that systematically in your head. But if you forget the flip side of that party pad and that last page that actually says, what's your choice? You know, you've got to reiterate those two things because a lot of my team was actually, okay, forgetting, you know, we have some that are really strong getting loyal customers and some that are strong getting distributors, but they're, they're frustrated on the other end. But that page makes it so easy. If you get in the habit of going through that party pad, not skipping a page, staying focused, then you're actually going to ask the question at the end. And so you can't forget and it opens up a door, so... Awesome. Awesome, Donna. Thanks so much. Great. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Mute you out. Now I've got, see, is that Diana Kleist? Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> You're so far back. Come up. Hug us a little bit. Hey, Hi, everybody. I'm getting my exercise in while I'm learning from all of you. <laughs> oh, Diana, I love it. All right, Diana, share your boom moment. Oh, my goodness. Well, like what Michelle said, I've been doing that at my parties, and that has been awesome, um, having them share on social media that they're trying that crazy rap thing. But now I'm going to take it to a whole nother level, based on what Michelle said, having them take that picture of the backside of my car. So thank you, Michelle. And, um, and I've been giving them um, a cool lime green water bottle with three greens in it as a gift. But I didn't think to say, like, you're going to win a, a free three-day detox. So thank you, Michelle. So I'm going to take that to a whole nother level now. I love it. So good. I'm running out of, out of breath. But, um, you know, I've just been really consistent, listening, rapping, repeating everywhere I go. So for an example, I just had to go to Denver last week for a wedding. So while we were there, we blitzed. You know, so I just weave it into my life wherever I am. And I've just been really consistent with that. Well, I think that's always been your strength, Diana. You're a belly-to-belly -belly person. <laughs> you're, you're a face-to-face -face person. Am I frozen? You're back now. You're okay. Hello? Can you guys hear me? We can hear you. Okay, you're frozen. Oh, I am? And then, of course, going out. Is she gone? We lost her. Yeah. We'll come back to... Are you there? Yeah. Okay, here I am. So like tonight I'm launching a new distributor. I mean, I'm just still, you know, out in the field doing as many parties as I can with the team and just been, just keeping consistent. Well, I was saying, I think, I think we got frozen on each other. I was saying, I think that's always been your strength is you've always been a belly to belly person. You're a party or yeah. you're out in the field. That's, that's your strength and that's what you honor. So do you have a tip for everybody listening today, watching today? I mean, what could be, what, what is one thing that you feel like you're, when you're, when you consider all those aspects, how, why, and how does that work for you so well? You know what? I don't get attached to the outcome. I just do the do. So I think that has really helped me. Well, it's working because you're a new ambassador on our team. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome, Diana. Thanks so much. Thank you. Your workout, girl. <laughs> okay. Now, is it Mattia? Yes, Mattia. Mattia, I love that. Mattia, hey, girl. Hi. All right, Mattia, tell everybody your boom moment. Well, I... I was sponsored by Diana and trained by Diana. And I think that, 
you know, what got me into huge momentum and got me promoting was partying and rapping belly to belly. And um, I got distracted by the bright and shiny Instagram and um, social media. And I still love it. I still think that it's great, but I kind of lost track of what was really working for me. And so I'm really focusing on filling my calendar again. So between, um, we are doing a weekly Zoom wrap party for my team, but I love your idea of combining it and making it in person and then just Zooming that. We've been doing just Zoom for my team all across the country. But in addition to that, I'm focusing on scheduling launch parties, like Liz said, trying to be there with everybody. Um, but on top of that, I think it's also easy to fall into the trap of, I'm busy doing launch parties, but I'm not busy in my own personal business. And so I'm trying to really focus on that and do going back to what worked for me all along because I'm good in person. I'm good at making friends. I'm good at building trust. And if I get with someone, they're going to want to join my team very often. And yeah. so I'm trying to just go back to my strengths. Great. Because a good, good thing to bring up and, you know, we don't want to, we don't ever want to forget at our position in our leadership to do what we, what we've got to remember. We need to be working with our maybe top 10. Maybe it's our top 10. Maybe it's your next promotion. Is your next promotion presidential? You're working with that triple, that double, those two diamonds. You're working within those organizations. You're very focused on your promotion. And you don't want to forget that you've got to consistently bring, be bringing in new people. So when you're doing something, I encourage you all to think, how can I duplicate this? How can I spread this more to the masses? So if it is a wrap party, you're showing people through that live wrap party that you're hosting on Zoom that they can also host. Now they know how to host a live wrap party. You've just trained them. You can record that Zoom, you can put it on your YouTube channel, you can blast it out to your team. Now they know how to do a wrap party. So, and they can utilize that for their own benefit, for their own business gain, to show to a prospect if they need to, because they're brand new. So consistently be thinking about what you can do so that you don't lose sight of what you need to be doing to bring in your business. Put that, put it, put it on the live feed on Facebook, your rap party. If you're doing one this week, videotape it, put it out there to everybody. Um, so that you don't lose sight of that. Because like you said, you can go easily go into that management mode. It happens quickly, but you've got to be working with those top 10, with those core people to make sure that you, you're hitting your next promotion. They're hitting their promotions and the momentum is because guys right now we're on fire. Our volume, our new business volume is through the roof. It's crazy. This is a big year for this team. And you're seeing that within your own organizations. And you don't want to lose momentum of that in spite of that. So this is a really great topic to bring up for us. We don't, for, we don't forget what it takes to get to the next level, which is consistently bringing in new. You would agree with that? Oh, absolutely. That's, it's easy to get distracted. Yeah, you know what it, is I love that you said that you went back to parties. So what did you see in your business shift when you went back to doing rap parties? Well, you, you, it's funny because I look back to my very first month and it works. And even my very first month, there was so much momentum. Or And also the month that I went diamond. Uh, my calendar was packed to the gills. I mean, I couldn't have fit one more thing in. And so... As a result, you're sponsoring like crazy. Volume comes in so quickly. I mean, it's so much easier to build, you know, a $400 leg is nothing to in a party. And quite honestly, very frequently, you'll bring in the hostess as the distributor, and then now she's a qualified leg that very moment, that day. And so the way I look at it is for every $400 leg that I need, um, I need to schedule a party, and that's gonna happen, you know? You're going to fill those boxes. What's your number one party tip, Mattia? Um, I think to have fun and make it fun and not take yourself too seriously. <laughs> I think if we get too rigid about, you know, the rules of, oh, no, you can't do that. We have to do it. No, just have fun. If everybody's having fun, everything is going to work out. So that's what I try to stick to. Awesome. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing. You're yeah. welcome. Awesome. Catherine Sanchez, congratulations, congratulations. on the top enroller as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being on yesterday.
Thank you. It was fun. <laughs> All are going to love the video we recorded. It's so good. Yeah. Um, Can't wait. Catherine, what's your boom moment? Um, so boom moment, that's what's like a tip that's working in our team or something that's working for yourself personally within your team, however you want to share it. Okay. So I know for me personally, what's working is just the confidence this year. I feel like in the past I've lacked confidence. I've just given myself excuses like, oh, you're too young to lead a team or, uh, you, you don't, you're, you're not a good enough leader. I've given myself so many, um, I've given myself my own boundaries in the past. And this year I finally, I just shifted my mindset and I said, you know, I've, I'm a double diamond in the company and I still have these insecurities and why am I, why am I giving myself these own, these boundaries? And I just, once I took those away, you know, not to say they're not still there. I don't know if they ever fully go away, but for me personally, I just, I allowed myself to be a little bit more confident and, and feel like, yes, I can lead my team and I can lead new distributors and, for this year, I just shifted my mindset and I, I just kept telling myself, no, like I, I am worth this. My team is worth this. And it just totally changed. I'm a lot more confident when I talk with my team and that has helped just a little thing that's helped with me uh, specifically. And I know with my team, we started doing zooms this year, which we've never done before in the past. Um, we would just say, Oh, you're not in the area. Okay. It, I really struggled with how to connect with distributors out of the area. That was a really, that was a big struggle I had. And Zoom is really working for us. We do, we don't do it Zoom every week, but we'll do once or twice a month. We'll do some Zoom trainings. We'll open it up for questions and answers. And I can just tell the team gets so excited because it doesn't matter where they are in the comfort of their own home. They get on this and they can ask questions and they see how personable I am that I'm just, just like them. And we're just out doing the same thing. And I, really every time I train the team I just talk about the basics I don't go into anything really stressful or um, crazy I keep it super simple all I talk about is steps to success and blitz wrap repeat over and over and over again and for our team we really celebrate the 400 GV club and above we celebrate it we, we explain that this is the first promotion of many promotions and when you can get to the 400 club you can teach your whole team to get to the 400 club and we celebrate it we make it this really exciting thing and we've started doing parties every two months uh, at my home, we just we do a 400 and above party for everyone that made it to the 400 club in the last 60 days, and we keep it super simple. We have appetizers, wine, we do a team building activities, and we make it this fun night with the team. And so we start doing that every two months. We've only had one so far this year, but I know the team was so excited about reaching the 400 club. So that was a big change, I think, in our business this year. We make it really excited and fun and yeah. What are you doing for your 400 club that's uh, outside of your area? We will zoom them in. Perfect. So this last one, we zoomed them in so that they could be a part of it. And then I'll do per like I did up some personal phone calls and just called them and congratulated them for getting to the 400 club. And I have realized too, how much people like to uh, be recognized publicly. So we even post on their Facebook page, you know, you made it to the 400 club and this is so exciting and nobody knows what that means, you know, outside, but they just see that this person just got recognized and oh my gosh, they must be rocking their business. This is amazing. And we just realized how much people, People want to be recognized for the little things like I mean for us that's a huge thing in the business but to them they may we were not stressing how important that is I mean prior to this year so that's some changes we've done this year that have been really awesome exciting <laughs> Catherine, what's your next promotion rank triple diamond triple okay so um uh, trip, so whatever for, for all of you, for whatever your promotion rank is next, what I would encourage you to do based on whatever you need for that promotion, okay? If it's, if it's uh, one diamond, if you already have your double and you already have your other diamond, whatever it is, okay? I would encourage you to do just a focus group, just a Zoom as well, because you know how important these are with yeah. that team, just that team. Have them come, all of you can take this tip. This is a big tip that I, I got and it's been tremendous. Is take that, take that Zoom, invite them to that Zoom, tell them to come with their chart filled out. Okay, okay? if it's the emerald, they need their chart filled out. If it's the ruby, they need their chart filled out. Whatever they're, come with their chart filled out based on last month's volume and what's happening right now. 
what they've got right now so they know what they're looking at and then you do a focus group with them to make sure that they are focused on making sure those legs are 400 that those promotions happen answer any additional questions you have again so that you are continuing to celebrate the whole of your team which is so important but you're also moving forward with the team that you need next for your next promotion okay okay so i would schedule i would really just look at what exactly what you need and then invite the all together they can come all together but come on specifically for uh, a zoom just for them for that promotion okay okay awesome thank you so much thank you you out. We'll go next. Rachel. Hey, Rachel. Rachelitz, your next girlfriend. Hi. I think I unmuted you and then you muted yourself. I oh, gotcha. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to piggyback a little bit on what Donna Celeste said. Um, we work very closely together. And, you know, it started before conference. So we started, we do everything based on 90 day increments. So, you know, you had a holiday season and, you know, everybody's really distracted and busy, but we took that time and we did two calls a week and we really focused on mindset and just, you know, getting ready for, you know, January, which was going to be huge or really February this year. Um, so we did that for 90 days and then we started a booking blitz um, right after conference. And, you know, Donna kind of explained that a little bit. We really focused on, um, we grouped in teams of five. Um, all of our teams participated. I think we had, we had a lot of teams. And uh, we just focused on how many appointments everybody could get. And everybody kind of turned in their number. We had a team winner. Um, it was a lot of fun. But as a whole, our team booked 1,219 appointments. So yeah, that's a lot of activity, right? What was the amount of time? Um, the amount of what? What was the time frame between the, the, uh, the, the booking uh, book? So we actually did it for one week. So we started off and all the teams gathered for 40, gathered for two hours. And a lot of them we gathered on Zoom because a lot of the teams were from all over the place. Yeah. Okay. And so we got on and we just got our phones and we messaged people to just coffee or, hey, it's been a while, you know, can we get together? Um, for coffee or for lunch or can we connect over the phone and you know it was just about getting those appointments booked and then we had about five or six days in between where everybody kind of did it on their own but you know what by starting together we built confidence they were like wow this is pretty easy this is cool we helped them with their responses and things like that and then we gathered again on the seventh day for just another hour, an hour and a half to just kind of close it in and try everybody, to, all the teams wanted to get their numbers really high. So um, everybody turned in their final numbers and we announced the winning team, sent off a little gift for them and then tallied up because, you know, I, I heard something that could you imagine what it would be like if you could figure out how many appointments your team had as a whole for the month? right? Because look at it. It's all based on activity and it's all based on appointments. And if you have a doctor's office or a hair salon and you don't have any appointments on your books, you are out of business. And so think about it. How many appointments did you really have last month? Did you have 10? Did you have less than 10? Did you have five? Well, you know, this was just a really good way to get people to kind of take the, um, the nervousness out of, you know, asking people to meet them for an at works appointment. They just really were getting face to face with people. So as a whole, like I said, we did 1219 appointments. Which is crazy, but it was insane. So I think that's something that a lot of the teams um, since then um, are starting every month by doing that with their teams um, because that's, they can book their whole calendar for the whole month by doing that, by just gathering with their groups. Okay, so pegging backing on what I was talking about with you, Catherine, then. So when you're with your promotion team, you're launching a brand new group. This is a fantastic activity to do, Rachel. I mean, this, this, when you want, you, you have to come to that Zoom prepared knowing where they need to go. You might not even talk about the numbers on that chart, but you're holding them accountable. They know what they need coming to that. Get some focused on looking at that. This is the activity that you need 
in my opinion, this would be the perfect type of activity. I like to get people to riled up together and get them following up so that I can help them. Do the I started to do this individually through Facebook chats and text messages, but then I found myself doing this all day and it was taking too long. When I could pull in a concentrated group at the same time, it kills so many birds, okay? I mean, this is like the perfect opportunity. So Rachel, would you agree with that? I mean, this, is, this has obviously been huge for you guys. Yeah, definitely, you know? I mean, because now everybody's out, they're meeting with people. I've gotten a ton of text messages going, okay, so I went, I had coffee, and I walked out with a loyal customer, you know? Or I got a wrap party. Or I got a follow-up appointment because now they want to hear more. And so everybody's just very, very excited. It really, um, you know, lines up the month. And then now we're taking it back to another level. We're, we are having the weekly Zoom wrap parties. Um, so we're pulling in all of our new people and kind of doing that in concentrated groups, not like as one giant team, but little mini teams. We're all kind of doing that together. Following it up by a training, a 30-minute training right after kind of talking to them and finding out what they're struggling with. You know, how are those appointments going? What do you feel um, you need help with? That kind of thing. And then we're kind of targeting those um, trainings, just kind of like mini trainings, not overwhelming trainings. How are you, how are you tackling the out of town business? Because most of us on this Zoom, we're all leaders here. Most of our businesses are not in our backyard. Right. And I can say that for myself too. Our business is not in our backyard. We're training a lot of people whose businesses are not in their backyard mm -hmm. or they have a full-time job and they cannot possibly go meet with someone on a Tuesday at two o'clock. It's impossible. So how are you tackling that? Okay. So for your in-towners, you can meet for coffee. You can meet for a drink after work. You can meet for a quick lunch. But for people that you want to connect with that don't live by you, you can just set up a quick phone call. Hey, let's catch up. We haven't talked in a while. Or, hey, have you heard of that new app? It's really cool. It's called Zoom. Um, and then you can have them hop on a Zoom, and you're kind of like sitting across the table drinking a glass of wine or having a cup of coffee together, connecting in that way. Um, or, you know, if they have an iPhone, you can just FaceTime. Sure. Um, but you are setting that appointment to talk or setting that appointment to get face-to-face -face through the computer. I just think Zoom is the smartest thing that has ever come around. It's really revolutionizing my business, I know. Um, I mean, I connect with more people in a day than I could connect with in a month um, through conference calling and going out and doing appointments, you know, locally. It's amazing. Well, I love it. Look at us. We know who's on. Right. Like even as leaders, leader, we know who's on. I can call on you. On a phone call, that's very difficult. I can right. see your face. I can see your excitement. So, Rachel, do you have specific scripts that you all use to, to send out those first messages? Yes, we actually took them, um, the scripts that you use, you know. Um, but the ones that I find that are the most effective are, you know, hey, girl, it's been a while. I'd love to connect with you over um, coffee. Or, hey, girl, it's been a while. I'd love to connect with you, um, you know, over FaceTime or you know, on a phone call. So just keeping it really, really simple and keeping really the business verbiage completely out of it for the first, you know, base. So your, your objective is to simply get a, just a face-to-face, -face, a one-on-one, -on -one, just mm -hmm. that meeting, like Donna mm -hmm. was saying. Yeah, and you know, the thing is, is it might take, it might be one extra step for you. You know, because you might just go and seriously just catch up personally and reconnect. But you know what? The law of reciprocity says, if I ask you enough questions about you, then you're going to in turn ask me something about me. And that's where a 60 second story comes in. You know, if you can get really good at telling your story um, in a quick little 60 second and then go, oh, but tell me more about whatever it is they were telling you before, you're just throwing it back on them then they want to know, they want to learn more because you have not vomited business all over them. You know, you just kind of shared a little bit about what's happening in your, in your life and um, you're throwing it back on them. You're getting them to tell you a little bit more. And now they're like, hmm, I want to hear a little bit more about what she's doing. And maybe the coffee appointment is not the place, but you can say, hey, listen, I know we've been here for like two hours chatting, but why don't we get together at the end of the week um, for a glass of wine or why don't we get together for lunch and I can tell you more about business. Okay, awesome, awesome, Rachel. We'll come back through. Thank you so much. You're welcome.
All right, Moni. Hey, Moni. Hey, Kay. How are you? Okay, go ahead and repeat that. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened there. Moni, give us your boom moment. Okay, so first I want to say hi to Donna and Rachel. I'm lucky enough to be on their team and I love them so much. And we had a really good result from the March Madness um, booking blitz that we that they were just talking about. So for any leaders on the on the call that are thinking about doing that, it is well worth it. I have a very small team. And as a result of that, uh, 32 promotions happened on my team this month. And five of them were double promotions and one was a triple promotion. So it just goes to show you, it's, it's just amazing just getting together with people with no pressure. So that was, I was very excited about that. Um, Sorry for the lawn in the background. We've got a mower, if you can hear the, someone's mowing their lawn next to me, I'm outside. Um, so Moni, since, um, since everyone's interest is peaked, why don't you go through, um, I know Rachel hit on it, so why don't you go through, because I wrote a lot of notes, go through kind of the specifics again of what you all do to set that up for those that are interested in doing the same thing. Okay, well, as Rachel said, we got everybody together in smaller groups. We asked people to team up into teams of five, and it didn't have to be, they didn't have to be on the same team. They could be cross teams and, and you know, so it didn't matter where they came from, just as long as they were on a team and encouraged them to set up appointments. So I had a group of people over at my house and I had people zooming in. Rachel met with us all and kind of set the tone for it, said, you know, just get in touch with people, set appointments, get appointments on your calendar. And, and that's what we did. We just talked to each other while, oh, we got a response and what would you say to this? And it was very helpful having everybody together and bounce ideas off of people so that if you got stuck or you just didn't know what to say to somebody, you always had somebody else or two or three other people giving you ideas. Okay, so what I think everyone's gonna ultimately ask for, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it for the, for the whole of the group here, is if you wouldn't maybe just provide all of us with like a few of the first initial approach examples, some of the scripts that you do use, just ones that you really found are working for you so that we can have access to that. Okay. Did you do that for us? Yeah, absolutely. It was, you know, it was everybody from people you'd never talked to to people who had said, you know, next week, next week I'll order. People like that. People that were just right close to either being a distributor or a customer. Um, people who had no clue what you were doing. People who were kind of peaked about what you were doing. People that really weren't interested in what you were doing, but then ended up interested after they met with you. So it was a whole range of people. We didn't just limit it to uh, potentials. You know, um, I've been, I've, I've, I didn't know I was doing this, but I've been doing this, just reaching out to people that I have not spoken to and just, and their interest is peaked. So just giving them that, hey, what have you been up to lately? You know, fill me in on your life. And they do ask questions and then they do say, well, I've been watching you and I think that's really interesting. Yes, it's incredible the amount of people that don't comment or like on your posts, but they, they still know exactly what's going on in your life. So you know they're out there. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Anything else, Moni? Anything outside of the booking blitz that you wanna share? Yes, so what really worked for my team this month is to talk people through the discouragement of promotions. I mean, sometimes when you're going for a promotion, Things never happen the way we want them to and you have a set thing of how easy it's going to be and everything's going to fall right into place. There's always glitches. There's always somebody who backs out. There's always, you know, something that happens. And what worked for me this month with all the promotions that happened on my team is to stay very close contact with the people that were going for promotions. They were in touch with me almost daily and I just talked them through it and helped them. And, and my other leaders were doing the same thing. So we were all, we stayed cohesive and let them know that they weren't alone. Okay. Awesome. 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 Yeah. Because you know what? It's, um, we know we want the promotion, but it's also about making sure you've got it all and you're ready for it. Yes. You want it to be solid. You want it to maintain, you know, sometimes it's just, Hey, we got this, but next month might be stronger. Yes. And we've had to back a couple people off promotions, but we pushed some people through that didn't even know that they could double promote. Wow. 
Yeah. So what's your tip on that? Double promoting? Just uh, how you push, how you, your encouragement for them to do that and get them through that threshold and encourage them to get to that next level. It's basically all the self-development we've been doing. <laughs> Hopefully we've all been doing it, but just to realize that you can do anything you want. It may not go the way that you want it to, but find another way. And anything is possible if you just work hard enough. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, Moni. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Donna Warren, you are next, sister. <laughs> Congratulations, Diamond. New promotion. Yes, yes. I tell everybody if I can do it, this great grandma can do it. Anybody can do it. <laughs> and I brag about that. So that's not a bad thing. <laughs> oh, seriously, I'm so, so, so excited for you. What a huge accomplishment. Donna, uh, Donna promoted, you got the emerald double good and then the diamond double good. Exactly, exactly. Donna, yeah. um, what's your boom moment? You're on fire right now. Um, I think as I'm listening to everybody, uh, I'm getting some good pointers, no doubt. Um, definitely staying in touch. Uh, I love Zoom. Um, I do Zoom about three times a week, not necessarily with the whole team. Um, yesterday was just with uh, one distributor and a new distributor she had that was uh, just needed some one-on-one -on -one training, and it, it works. Uh, I love it. Uh, I'm Zoom is terrific. <laughs> so um, uh, when you've got that one distributor on with that one new person. You're on a you're on that smaller Zoom. Right. What is your, what's the what are you focusing on during that time? Well, for her, we were walking her through her e suites. Uh, we did you know the steps to success. She started. She went on vacation, and then she just did nothing, and then now all of a sudden she's ready to roll. And so we just basically went through the basics that I would go if I'm sitting face to face with somebody and um, she's showing us her screen and we're walking it through her and, and just that she loved it. I mean, she was so much better afterwards because we were getting so much negativity and it was such a huge turnaround in that 40 minutes. And uh, so there's no doubt. I mean, she's getting ready to schedule a party, uh, a launch party. And, um, so I'm just, I'm pleased with that. I, that, that I think the one-on-one -on -one and some, some attention and paying attention to the details. Um, one of the things that I do differently when I'm talking to even somebody and I'm presenting the business is we use a lot of lingo that nobody has any idea that's not in the business. You know, we talk about, well, if you get 400 BV and all of this. Um, so what I do is I give them a steps to success. And as I, they're filling that out, I show them the BV that they're going to be getting and I put some scenarios together. Uh, so when they're writing, you know, I get them to write four customers on there, you know, who's going to be those first four customers. So then we turn it over and I say, well, what do you think this person would buy? So I get them to put some scenarios together and that really gets them thinking outside the box that, Hey, this is not complicated. And the same when they're, when I get down to putting the distributors in, and they put down three and, and then they'll say, oh, well, I know a couple of more. And I said, well, that's great. I said, you can make your whole team. I said, you don't have to stop at three. And I don't want you to stop at three. So I think that's one thing that when I started doing that and I started thinking, what would I need if I had never been in network marketing? And what do I need to tell these people that this is total foreign language? Yeah. And so when I started doing that, and whether I'm doing it on Zoom or I'm doing face-to-face, -face, I've started doing a lot of face-to-face. -face. Uh, I love face-to-face. -face. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. 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 and parties, uh, I've got some now that we're having parties and they're doing great. Um, so I, I just think that that's important is to get down to, get down to their level. We don't need to get lost in what the original thing is. You know, we always talk about it's a simple steps to steps, but like I said, I think I just take it one more step to simplifying it. When I was doing that party with Stephanie Dunn just recently and uh, here, I, you know, what I loved about even her rap party is she normally hands every guest a steps to success worksheet, normally every single one. This party was much too large for that. So she knew she needed to focus in on one person. So she said, she's always kind of scanning the room and she's uh -huh. like, who's that person that's like 
clearly thinking about doing the business. Right. She honed in on one person, Mercedes was her name, and she honed in on Mercedes and she handed Mercedes that sheet. And she had Mercedes go through and say, yes, I know four people and have you have them name who those four are and even those three distributors. And she normally does that with every single guest at that party. But what shows them is she'll say, you just filled that out. You just filled that out. You're perfect for this business. This business is perfect for you. You just filled out your steps to success. And for her, it shows her who is that person, who are those people or who is that person in the room that's like absolutely hands down needs to fill out that form at the end of the night. Right. She's always right. focused in on that business, but I agree in that also sitting down with that new person or doing a Zoom. I love this platform. I love it. Um, to sit down and go through that worksheet with them. And I did that at a meeting the other day and she goes, are we really doing this right now? I said, yeah, <laughs> you have to fill this out with me. I need to know. I'm, I gave her the worksheet, but I took a picture of it. I said, I'm taking a picture of it. I'm holding you accountable to this. Right. And that's what we need to do to show them, Hey, you've got to walk, you've got to fill this out. Right. You're here to fill this out. So I'd love it, Donna. That's awesome. You're seriously on fire. I cannot wait. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm excited. I'm, and, I, and it's just, it's, I mean, it's just fun. It's definitely fun. And that's, that's the main thing is to keep it fun. Keep it simple. Keep it fun. And um, keep it on a level that they can understand it. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. Huge tip. Thank you. And you're, thank you. All right, Kate Copakin. Hey, gorgeous. Hi, how are you? Amazing. What's your boom? Good. Um, well, I've, a lot of what everyone's saying, I mean, kind of keeping it, taking it back to the beginning is what I've been doing. Um, just trying to keep it simple instead of overthinking it and comparing myself to what everyone else is doing. I'm just trying to stay focused and stay in contact with my team. Um, I found that everyone is really task oriented. And so I've been trying to, uh, we've got a message thread going and I'll throw it out there every day. Like I'm going to do a power hour now and I've been challenging them to do um, a power hour as well because everybody's excuse is I don't have the time I can't you know I can't find the time I'm too busy and I basically told everybody that if you can't find an hour every day even if it's in 15 minute increments then you really don't want this that bad and I think that changed their mindset so even if they're if they're locking themselves in the bathroom away from their children which is what I do usually for, <laughs> for an hour um, or text. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, mommy's in the bathroom. Sorry. Yes, I have my phone. Don't bother me. Um, so I've been, I'll do, you know, an hour at a time. And if I can fit it in, I'll do, you know, an, another hour or so. I mean, I'm home, so I've got the time, but for everyone else, I'm just challenging them, like take 15 minutes, just go by yourself and, you know, contact 10 people on your hundreds list or go schedule all your posts for social media. And the power hour has really changed our business. Um, the volume in my business has really grown um, and gone up in the last couple months since we've been doing that. So that's really been change, changing things and, and having fun too. I mean, I'm definitely a belly to belly person. I like to be talking to people in person. So Zoom is great for me um, and just keeping it fun. So that's what I've been doing. I want to piggyback on you and give you all a tip that I learned that has been tremendous. And I think that this will ultimately really help you, Kate, as you're getting them focused on their power hour, was that when they, you give them that task, let's say you tell them 30 people, you give a script to send out, um, you say, I want you to send this to 30 people. Because this is what happens. They start sending those messages. So they say, I'm going to send out 30 messages. But then the fifth person that they send it to, they get to number 10, but the fifth person they send it to responds. So right. this has been the hour responding to person number five who may never sign up. So what I'm telling people is when you do your follow-up, I want you to get through 30 people first. You can't answer the doorbell. You can't, you need to put your phone on do not disturb. You need to turn your Facebook off or whatever you need to do. You need to get through 30 messages first. Then you can go back and start responding because you're not going to lose sight of that person that you sent that message to 10 minutes ago because you didn't respond the second they responded back to you. It's not going to happen. Right. But that's their fear. Oh, I got one. But yeah. they never finish the 25 more, the 20 more, the 10 more. And so now they're backtracked. Now they have 50 to send out. 
So if you, and so my, when I learned that, I went, oh, I do that. Don't you, we all do it. Oh, all the time. So the new tip, the strength is going to come from getting through the 30 or getting through the 25 and then going back and following up. And I think that you'll find that once you start teaching that and implementing it yourself, that that will start to duplicate. And ultimately help when you're thinking about whatever you want to call it, if it's your booking blitz or whatever it is that you're doing to getting those books, those bookings or that follow up done or that loyal or that new DT or that opportunity meeting that you're going to get them more of them because you're doing more of the work. So when you're doing your training to implement that, cause that's really helped me too. It's helped me also because I was falling into that trap of, you know, I was in my increment of time that I'm reaching out to people for, you know, following up with leads. And then I've got my team asking me questions about things going on and I'm leaving, you know, my task to go talk to them. And I've just basically told them when I'm doing my power hour and, you know, I've got time for you guys at this time. Like now is your time. If you have questions, ask me now or I'll get back to you as soon as I'm done. So that's really helpful. Awesome. Kate, thank you so much. You're welcome. Sorry, guys. I'm going to try to power through. I know we've been on an hour. Shannon Rich. Hey, girl. <laughs> oh. You're frozen. There you are. Hey. Oh, hi. <laughs> What's going on, sister? Get oh, I'm, I'm just cleaning up a messy baby. So from... <laughs> I'm sorry. I was like, oh, I probably have a minute to get him out of the high chair. Do you so, want to hear me come back to you? Yeah, come right back to me so I can get him cleaned up. Laura, you're next. I'll come back to you, Shannon. Laura Hintilla, did I say that right? Laura, are you there? Laura, I can only see your ceiling. Okay, Laura, coming back to you. Who's down here? Oh, that's Diana Kleist. She's done working out. Jen Jobson, you're next. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can. I unmuted you. How are you? What's your boom uh, moment? My boom moment is definitely um, doing the quick six at night, making sure that everybody knows exactly what they're going to do for their business, money-making activities the night before, um, okay. and literally share the quick six with everyone who does not know what that is. There are some people that don't know. Okay. Okay. So the quick six is um, something that you should do the night before. And it's basically in a planner, whether written or digital. And you literally write down six money making activities for your business the next day. And it's not just a task oriented thing like, you know, label my blitz cards. It's money making. So it would be like six names to follow up. And you'd be very, very specific. You would have the name the telephone number, or if they're on Instagram, you would write out their handle. If they're on Facebook, you would write that as well. So that when you are going to do those quick six items, you can go right to it. You're not having to search for someone's telephone number or finding out if they were a lead from Instagram or Facebook. Um, and that is, has been really beneficial because the quick six, again, you know, if you do it the night before, your day is done. You have an opportunity to reflect on your day, what did and didn't get done, and where you want to go tomorrow. Because I always say, you know, as a busy mom, I mean, you know, you, you, you wake up and you hit the ground running providing for everybody else. And so you really need to have a mapped out day of what you need to get done for that day. Very, very specific and clearly. So that has been something I've been working with the team with, and that is very, very helpful. We also have been doing the Ruby threads, Ruby training threads. And so what it is, it um, helps us because we've had so many new distributors enroll. Um, we start a thread, I'm included, and um, the enroller is included as well as the new, brand, new this brand new distributor. And that way they get a sense of that layered leadership. Um, and what we do is we, I use that as my portal of training them so that with, if I'm talking to them on the phone, I will say, I need you to hop on your Ruby thread because I'm going to shoot you some slides. Um, whether it be something like a get started training where I show them the steps to success. And this has been really helpful because, um, we've had a lot of team members that are not local in our backyard. And so I can't go have that cup of coffee with them. Um, and what's nice with the Ruby threads on Facebook is that they can go back and reflect 
um, and see what we talked about. And um, like you had mentioned, Kay, where you sit with somebody and you go over the steps to success and you make them write those names. I, on that first kind of getting started training, I say, we're going to go through this and you're going to be giving me names. And I begin attaching a name with a product and I coach them through the verbiage on that. And I'm writing down. And then I either do a screenshot because I have a thing where I can write on my picture and I, I post it on there. And so that way, when I'm, you know, going back a few days later, I can say, hey, how did it go with Brenda? You know, is she interested in the fat fighters or the greens? And, you know, the main thing is, is because it's helping them to truly focus on money making activities, which is enrolling loyal customers and distributors. And it's so specific that it's not just, um, hey, I can literally say, you know, we talked about Brenda, how's that going? We talked about whoever and how's that going? So those Ruby threads are a great way of communicating. They're a great way of um, um, having accountability because, you know, everybody's eyes are on that thread. And it also, for me, it's allowing me to see who my runners are because if they're not having a lot of activity, the new distributor on their thread, and I'm asking questions like, hey, how's it going? Or, hey, how was their party? Or, hey, how is it going talking to Brenda? And I don't get a response from them. I'll move it over to text, and I'll text them that same verbiage. And then if I don't hear from them, I'm like, okay, right now they're not moving and shaking. Who's next? Yeah. So that's been a big thing is doing those. And then just for those that are local, we've been doing um, what I call L1, L2, and L3. We've been doing launch parties because I am a belly-to-belly -belly person. And, and you know, um, it's, just, it's just like how I, who I am. I love being with people. So, um, so the launch parties, what we do is when I do a get started training, we at that time sit down and look at the calendar and I make them give me dates. And, you know, even if the dates change, or have to be altered, I don't care, that's okay, yeah. as long as I know that they're in their calendar and they're understanding because I'm teaching them this is what we do to make money in this business. Just like filling out the steps to success, the importance of teaching them this is what we do to build our business. Um, so getting them to write out that launch one, launch two, launch three, and then one of the things I've been doing just to maximize my time um, is I do the me, we, you. So launch one is me. Launch two is we. So I'll say to them, which do you feel more comfortable talking about, product or business? And then launch three is you. So it's all about them doing the business or the, the um, party pad presentation. And I am there for collateral support. I'm there for excitement, energy to fill in the gaps. And by then, I feel like they have really understood the whole concept of how to do a wrap party, even though it's very, very simple. And, you know, I love doing parties with distributors because it's showing those prospects, the layered le leadership aspect. And that is one of the things with all the new distributors that have come on board that they've really enjoyed. They, they totally recognize that. But I'm going to start doing some of these other new, new tips that you guys like with the Zoom parties. I haven't done one yet. I need to do that. Okay, yeah, I was going to ask you, how are you tackling? Well, a lot of your business right now is pretty local. A lot of your new business, the ones you're yeah. your promotions are, are local. So that's working out for you really well. Yeah. yeah. So when, as you, as it. It is. And, you know, even. Still, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. There's a, I guess there's a. <laughs> I know, Zoom. Not I feel like you can hear me and I guess you can't. I'm sorry, I was going to say, as it will grow, because it will grow, is doing those Zoom parties are going to really help you take it to that next level. Yes. Yeah, I think so, too. And you know what? Um, I mean, even for our local people, I was just sitting here as I was listening to all this. Now I'm at a park. I'm sorry. I just got finished with a dentist appointment, and this was the best place. So, um, But, uh, you know, I was thinking even for my local po people, I think that doing Zoom parties I think we might incorporate that in one of those L1 L2 maybe the L3 will be a zoom because invite people outside of their home area yeah have them invite guests say who do you know outside who who who's on your dream team list let's invite them to this to the rap party tonight via zoom and have them watch they could be yeah. in Pennsylvania they could be in Michigan they could be in California and be watching Man, that's such a light bulb moment because, you know, I'm going to be um, headed to Wilmington in about two weeks. And the, the 
well, um, anyway, so I'm going to be doing a launch party. And she was struggling with the fact that people weren't able to make it to the party. So what I think I'm going to do now is say, um, oh, one thing too that we, we've been doing is at the part for the parties, we've been creating Facebook events. I'm sure everybody else does that, but that's been a fun thing because we've been slowly feeding. Like we, we, we start the Facebook event about two weeks before the actual launch party and we've been feeding product information before and after pictures like here's a picture of the greens you're gonna love the greens you'll be tasting the greens it has 38 superfoods so we're almost like prepping the people that will be attending and so I just I just had an idea so for the people that can't come because they'll even say on there oh I wish I was coming I can I've got a kid's soccer game or whatever I can go back in and say no worries it's gonna or whatever so yes and yeah they can be at soccer right now like you're at the park on the zoom mm -hmm. they can be mm -hmm. on the zoom with their yeah. and it, being a being a part, part of the party now you know exactly who's attended because you can see it you can see who's on and then that gives that mm -hmm. distributor a chance to follow up and say okay what did you think what product do you want are you ready to join Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah, awesome. so I'm going to do that. I am definitely going to do that at the next party. Awesome. Thank you, Jen. That's huge. Great tips. And I love You're welcome. I love the Facebook event before because it's like a teaser, and I love teasers. Yes. Awesome. All right, we'll move on. Thank you so much. I'm going to come back to you, Shannon, since you're back with your headphones. There you go. Hey, Shannon Rich. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Wonderful. What's your good? Plan? You know, I have to say, I have to kind of even go back to Michelle's first tip about take having taking a picture of the Blitz card and having people post it. Um, but I think it could even be taken a step further, even with the online parties or the Zoom parties, and just say, "Hey, take a screenshot of this or save the photo and post it now." And at the end of the party, whoever's got the most likes. Like, I think you can actually do it online as well, or even with Zoom. Just say, you know, hey, take a screenshot right now and post this, and whoever's got the most likes will get a three-day detox. So I think that's really cool. So it's been kind of trailing in my mind since, uh, since she had mentioned it. Um, so what's been working for me, you know, the biggest thing that's always been a, a bit of a hang-up is, and I think a lot of people deal with this, is getting people to make that hundreds list. It's like, they always say, I just don't know enough people. I don't know how I can write down a hundred people. And what I've noticed throughout my team and just even potentials that I'm speaking to is like, I have them immediately just go to their Facebook and most everybody has at least 200, if not more. And I'm like, like you, you know, you're already ahead of the game. You've got 200 friends or Hey, Oh my gosh, you've got a thousand friends on Facebook. Like, and it's like they don't, it's like they just kind of shut down and it's now allowing them to just kind of open up and go, oh yeah, you know, it's because I think a lot of times people just don't think they know that many people and they are obviously not talking to those people every day, but it's giving them a chance to reach back out to them and saying, hey girl, you know, it's been a while, you know, I'm curious of what you've been up to. And then again, by them asking, they're going to ask them yeah. and then say, you know what, I'm just curious, have you tried a Networks product yet? Like they don't even need to go to the wrap. They could just say it works product. And now that's going to be starting like a conversation. Yeah. I find that, um, they have their list here maybe, but they have not put it on paper, but putting on paper is everything. It is getting them to go through their phone. They forget who they have on their phone. They forget who they have on their Facebook. They, they forget because they see what's top news feed, but they don't remember that they have 150 extra other friends that they haven't even spoken to in 10 years. Right. So absolutely making them, having them make their hundreds list. And then I think taking that tip that we talked about of having, getting them on a zoom like this and having them give them a script. I've got a great one. I'm going to post for you guys in a little bit. Um, <laughs> after this, But um, getting them to, to send out those 30, messages challenge them to a number and say you can't respond until you've sent out 30. I like the 30 too. Yeah. I yeah. A huge shift in having them come to that zoom with say look this is going to make your job a lot easier if you come to our zoom with a hundred people. 
If you want to do some income producing activities today and you want to grow your business to the next level, then I would come prepared. And then if they don't have the list, they have to sit there and make it, but you'll make them make it. And then it's done. And the next one is the, the next project for them would be to send out those 30 messages. But I would get, if, if that's where, if you feel like that's your struggle right now, because that's what you brought to, to us, then that's exactly what I would do. I would look okay. at, your, what's your next promotion rank? Double diamond. All right. So you want to know who's your diamond, who's your emerald, who, who's within that organization. Get them on a Zoom. Just them. Just that team. And have them do this. Okay. Okay, just do that with them because, it could, because again, that's what you need them doing. That's where they get their scheduled parties. That's where they get their scheduled one-on-ones. That's where they get their loyals and their DTs. No, that makes sense. Well, awesome. thank you. Yeah, no, I definitely want to do that. Awesome, Shannon. Thank you so much for bringing that to all of us. It's awesome. Anything else you want to share before we go to Alicia? Alicia, I keep calling you that. Sorry. Anything you want to share, Shannon, before we go? No, I think that's good. No, I mean, I'm loving all the tips from everybody. I think this is awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, girl. Miss Alicia, Hi. how are you? I'm good. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you amazing. Okay, okay, perfect. All right, share um, with us your boom moment. Well, I've been trying to listen to my team as I have conversations with my leaders, and I was hearing that, you know, I'm you are building so fast, but what's that? I'm losing you a little bit. Start over. Oh, um, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, sorry. Um, I was listening to my teammates telling me that they're so excited that their teams are growing so fast, but they're having a hard time keeping track of keeping everything straight and with training. You know, when we sponsor somebody in the business, I feel like it's really important that we do that. We sponsor them. We, we train them to the best of our ability. And so I just shared with them my way that I figured out. It's really super simple of how to organize my training with my new distributors. Can you hear me? Is it okay? Yes. Okay. So literally I have like one ugly little folder, but it works for me because I want to keep it simple because I want everybody to just keep it really simple. And in there I keep, um, the getting started document that I uploaded in your page. I keep one of those and, and I attach it to a Ruby chart. And I have this for every single person that I've personally enrolled. And I use that um, and, and the questions that I have on the top, I don't know if you guys can see that, there's questions on the top of the getting started file. And those are so important, I feel like when we bring people in so that we can start to really build that relationship with, you know, with, our, with our people that we're sponsoring in. Um, and so, just sharing that I think has empowered them to feel like you don't have to memorize where everybody is because um, for me, like when I, when I brought somebody in, I just felt like, okay, so-and-so has gone through step one, they need to go through step two, but if I wasn't writing it down, you know, you kind of, you get overwhelmed, you kind of forget where is everybody. And so I think that helped them to feel a little bit more organized. Um, and when you feel more organized, I think you're, you're much more, um, your business is going to be doing better. You know, you're, you're more empowered to be doing more things if you're, if you're getting stuff done. And it also made them realize how important and valuable, valuable it is to actually see, you know, using our charts. They see me using the charts. So they're like, oh yeah, people really do use those charts. And you really do. <laughs> yeah, like, hello, it really works because you have to like see it. So it really helped them, um, visualize you know their promotions and through that i had one go emerald last month one ruby um you know we just had it was nice it worked really well um one other thing that i wanted to mention was um i don't know if you guys know this and i don't do this all the time but like with bogo or if i have you know i've been in the business four years now so i have like hundreds of uh, or at least over 100 loyal customers and if i need to get in touch with them but you know, sometimes I'll send them individual messages, but sometimes I just feel like, oh my God, I have 30 loyals to get back and follow up with. Mm -hmm. It's nice to be able to send them a group message. And I could do that when I was on Android, but I can't, I couldn't when I, now that I moved to iPhone. Um, but uh, Susie and I just figured out the other day that you can, 
Um, so I'll just share this quick tip. If you go to your settings in your iPhone and you go to messaging and you go group messaging and turn it off, you can send out a group message and it will not look like a group message to the recipient. It's so brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> so nice. Now I don't do that all the time. Like that message might be like, hey there, you know, exclamation point. I just wanted to follow up with you, let you know I'm here for you, anything that you need with your products, you know, or like with the BOGO, I did it with the BOGO because you want to get out as many messages as you can with BOGO and time is of the essence. But you know, I don't, I don't use it all the time because I do want to be building personal relationships, but when I need to use it, that's brilliant. So you just go into your um, settings, messages, turn off the group messaging, send out your group message. And then when you want to turn it back on, you just turn it back on whenever. And those messages still say private. So I just thought that was a little tip I wanted to hand out. I will no, say, sure. I will say, I, I love it because I had no idea and that's going to help a lot. Um, yeah. For different reasons. Um, but I use MailChimp. I mail, mm -hmm. I use MailChimp for, I have all my personally enrolled loyal customers, even if I place them in a MailChimp file and I send them emails when we do BOGO. Um, yeah. check in, like you can send them or really just, um, one thing that I would, I learned is to not just be so salesy every time It's just send mm -hmm. some like it could be a really great recipe you want to share it could be a tip that, a weight loss tip that you want to share it could be something to where they look forward when they don't see your email they go oh gosh she's gonna sell me something again it's that they look forward to getting your messages from them so if you want to and it's really easy I encourage you to use that platform because you can quickly make something on your phone if you're on the go but I just I you can export all your um, personally enrolled loyals that you didn't place in a um, in a file in a, in a spreadsheet and load it up really quickly. It's really easy. I, I I'm not a very techie person by any means, and then I figured this out. So then you can also um, go back. You know, maybe just the best way I found to do it was just to go back to my emails and that I received from when I enrolled a new customer before I placed them and find them that way. Um, so that I can at least find them and get their email address and load it up to MailChimp. But I love MailChimp. I mean, I just, for, at this point, it's a great way to communicate. Um, so that's another option for you because you are wanting mm -hmm. to communicate with them. And I think it is important. Um, but I yeah. just had a great response from this last one. Oh, I got your email. I want to order BOGO. And it's like, yeah, no, I did that too. I sent out a mass email, but I just like, I like to follow up with texts Yeah, because I feel like people, not everybody checks their email right away. And that was so time sensitive, but, um, yeah, I like, um, I don't use MailChimp myself. I'm going to switch over to it right now. I use constant contact, but, um, you know, I know MailChimp is, is free. I think for like your first so many numbers or whatever. Yeah. Um, Great way to communicate with your personally enrolled oh, team cool. too. It's something I'm imp implementing now is to communicate with my personally enrolled distributors. Um, if, you, if there's just something I need to tell them and I want to send it out in a mass group, then I can send it out an email. And it's also a great way just to, um, you know, follow up and just send out something that you feel, depending on what the message is and something I'm playing with now, but I'm really excited about it. Um, but it's easy. I find it to be really easy and you can do it again. It's just like super easy to do it from your cell phone. Mm -hmm. Liz is raising her hand. Liz, I'm going to unmute you so you can, I have a question. No, well, I just, because I think my turn came so quickly. One of my boom things is I learned how to work my chart. I never worked a chart before. I know that's probably not new to everyone, but for me, this year, we dove into our charts. Like, after meeting with you last summer, it opened up a whole other side of the business that we didn't realize, and I've been hearing other leaders say, you keep your four and you pass your other, anybody above that once you start building a team, yeah. pass it. We, that's something new to us. And so now that is what I'm teaching our team. And that is why I think our promotions are exploding is because it's all about the chart. Look at your chart. Look at your chart. You're not alone with your chart. Outside of that chart. Your promotion is in that chart. Yeah. And it wasn't before. And that's why all of a sudden things are booming is because we are literally living in the chart, breathing in the chart, praying over the chart, yeah. teaching the chart, which w is totally new. That's very new this year. I have a folder, monthly monthly charts, and I have a folder that I keep with me because everywhere I go. And it's so, it's like, it goes with my planner. 
And when I leave the house, this is what I take with me so that if I'm on the road or in the car, whatever I'm doing, just quickly grabbing coffee, I can look at it if someone has a question. And I work within those promotions. And that's why I'm teaching that. That's, that's another good reason to say that's why our team is growing the way that it is right now is because we're working within those charts. But I teach that. You get your four loyal customers as soon as they have a new distributor on their team. Those next loyals go there to build that 400 leg. You've already got your four loyals. If I feel like they've got enough volume within those loyal customers to maintain their commissions, or if they're running an auto shipment, because I give them both options, they're brand new. I yeah. give them both options. If they're going to maintain and be commission qualified, then I feel confident enough that they can place those loyals. I have them place them. And that, I mean, I had a girl, she's already promoted executive this month and she just started she's within her first 30 days. <laughs> Yeah, like she's a loyal generating machine, and so I'm like, play some, play some. She's promoted now. She's like, okay, I want to go to Ruby. I'm like, let's go to Ruby. She's gonna get the bonus. Yeah, she's focused. So that was well, huge boom. Yeah, that was huge boom. I mean, when you're looking at a boom tip, that was our biggest thing because that was new for us this year for sure. Amazing, Liz. Thank you. That's an awesome point. I love you're it. Welcome. Okay, Alicia. Anything else? just muted myself. Sorry. Okay, I'm myself. There we go. Um, no, I, not too much as far as uh, like tips that I had, but you know, just something leadership wise that developed for me this past month, I was able to, um, you know, you have people coming in and out of your business. Some people, some people might take a break from their business. I actually had two people that I personally enrolled come back to their business in this past month. Um, which was really exciting. You know, that doesn't always happen if somebody decides they're going to take a break in their business if they don't always come back. But um, what's been working for me with them is just staying a lot closer to them and listening to them, um, just trying to share my fire with them. I had some, I had some um, personal things in my life happen to me this month that made me realize how, um, you know, I had always said before, you know, to try to keep your personal life separate from your business life. But when something major happens in your personal life and it's like life shaking, it's difficult to be yourself and work your business. And so I was able to gain empathy for people who have had that happen to them. Um, so that was huge for me in a way that it helped me to grow, I think, as a person and as a leader so that I could have a little bit more empathy with somebody who's gone through something major and now they want to come back. and. So, um, I don't know. I just wanted to share that. Yeah. But. <laughs> yeah, I can completely and respectfully relate. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm proud of you because this is, uh, this platform of people that we have on this team and this leadership is just exceptional. And, um, it goes to show you too, I think the power behind this industry is no matter what this business is always still here for you. And the residual aspect you appreciate, I think so much more when you have a dramatic, um, life experience happen and then we have it works you know sometimes you just don't want to get out of bed and then you have this business to support you so i appreciate you sharing that yep awesome. you're welcome thank you for doing this of course we have brandy brandy are you there i'm gonna unmute you i know you're dialing in i think from a phone hey i am here hi brandy share your boom moment girl um well and my phone may die uh, but um on your promotion Thank you so much. Your team's on um, there, girl. Thank you. I guess mine was like a major life experience. My um husband left at the end of February and I've been trying for diamond, but I haven't really like had my blinders on. And it was to the point where my wife absolutely made me cry. And so I just put my blinders on and my team was pumped and we all worked really hard together. Um we use social media a lot more than we did, like than we have previously talking to people and just trying to reconnect and building a relationship instead of just like sending a message to them and saying, Hey, uh, can you do something for me? We started at, I guess in February, just really actually trying to build a relationship. And, um, then when you kind of keep in, contact once a week or whatever with people you haven't talked to in a while it's easier to talk to them about something that you need help with or if they want to try a product or whatever so so brandy um 
what do you feel like is your biggest, your big, and I'm, I am, I don't, I don't, I'm, I kind of speechless. I don't know what to say and I apologize. Um, I appreciate you for sharing and being so vulnerable today. I want to say that for sure. Um, what do you feel like you can, uh, in giving back and giving a big tip? I mean, you, you guys are using those online parties and using these social media as a huge platform to grow. So what's your biggest tip on all of that? Um, to, I guess, just um, make sure that you're not posting just about your business, but you're posting about life and having fun. And um, I like doing parties too. So I really challenged my team to get, you know, as many parties on the books that they could. Some aren't, you know, they don't really like parties as much or they don't have a lot of time has been a big excuse. But the ones that did like parties, um, we just did a little contest and whoever could get the most party on the books won something. And um, so I don't really know. I know I'm like all over the place. My kids are going crazy, but um, okay. that's really what uh, I like the parties and just talking to people and building a relationship and then just being careful what we post. Um, you there? I am sorry. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Sort of, you're in and out. But what I love what you said is you said post more lifestyle. Michelle, I think you could piggyback on that more. You know, you, you're so strong in social media. So I am going to reach out to you about doing something more about maybe doing a Zoom, a little training that we can do together and bring some, some top, you know, Instagram and social media people together for that. Um, but I think you can piggyback on that. And lifestyle posting is so huge and so big. And what we do, and I'm really encouraging our team, especially as they're getting started. I'm going to unmute you, Michelle. Especially as they're getting started to incorporate all of that. So, Michelle, can you piggyback on what um, Brandy's saying before we close the Zoom and just uh, a, a tip on um, social media altogether? Yeah. So, I think when, um, especially for new distributors who are watching this, their their first thought is, well, what do I post? I haven't really succeeded quite yet. I'm brand new at this. And I think the fact that you've done something that's giving your family and your future hope is worthy of being posted about. So um, a great post example for me is a past, present, future post. So um, one example would be, um, you know, in the past, I always, um, I always dreaded Monday mornings because I knew that it was the beginning of a long week and my son was going to be in daycare. I wasn't going to get to see him. But now that I've joined It Works, I know that this is temporary and in the future I'm going to be a stay home mom and I will never have to miss anything ever again that happens for my family. And so the cool thing about a post like that is you haven't necessarily achieved that just yet, but you're sharing your vision with everyone and the vision is really what they need to see so that they can kind of look at their life and go, you know what? I'm not working towards anything that's going to change my current situation, but what she's doing is I want to learn more about that. And so I think that's a really great one. Another thing too, is don't feel like you're bragging. You're, you are needing to share that your, your social media is your highlight reel. So even if it's something like, um, you know, my husband and I had dinner tonight. It's been so long since we've been able to go out to dinner. Thank you. It works. It can be you enjoying a little hole in the wall place. Something like that can grab some attention. So that would be two examples of lifestyle posts that I've enjoyed getting some good feedback on. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You guys, I know we went so long. I promise next time we'll, keep, we'll, we'll do a little precursor and say let's keep our boom moments to this amount of time. But this, was, but this was huge. Would you all agree it was amazing? So helpful. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get this uploaded. I'm sure what we'll probably do is upload it privately. So you can only have a link to access it for leadership purposes only. So I think that'll be super helpful. Um, but thank you all so much. You're so Thanks. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.